Hello, I've been on a journey to learn how to code from starting as a complete beginner to landing a freelance gig and then eventually getting hired at a full-time job. This is my journey. I started with the Harvard CS50 course. It's totally free and one of the best introductions to programming. It teaches C and Python, SQL, Flask, and a bunch of other stuff. And essentially, it teaches you to go from zero to having enough knowledge to build your first full stack application. I didn't just watch the lectures. Sometimes I watched them two times. Sometimes I watched them three times. And I coded every single day, at least two hours a day. Consistency was the key. Even if it was just two hours a day, I would make sure to schedule it and to get it done. Once I had a solid foundation, I started building projects. One of the very first projects that I built was a simple financial app calling a random financial data API. And everything was built on Flask, SQL, HTML, and a little bit of JavaScript. Eventually, I moved on after I finished the main course. I moved on to their web development course, which is a more advanced course. It builds on the foundations from CS50. And they taught me Django over there, which is a bigger, more comprehensive framework that sort of builds on Flask, builds on SQL, builds on the foundations of Python that I had. And it just helped me take all that to the next level to basically almost be at the same level as a very junior developer. Basically, it gave me enough knowledge to ship code bases, to ship apps to actual users. And that was very useful because it is a whole different game where actually shipping code and it's breaking and you have to work on it and you have to publish it to your server and you have to update it and you have to make sure it's secure. All these things gave me the foundations to feel confident that, yeah, I can build software. Yeah, I can build a full stack application from start to finish, including the uh, DevOps part of it and get users, get customers, put it on a portfolio, apply for jobs, get hired. At this point, I had a couple of projects under my belt. So I started looking for freelance work. I basically just looked around a bunch of local job post websites. And eventually I found someone who was looking for a website. So I just applied. I didn't have any expectations. And to my surprise, within a day, I was already jumping on a call with, uh, with the potential customer and... At that point, I realized two things. I realized, number one, that what I have to bring to the transaction is really not my technical knowledge. It's more how do I apply my technical knowledge to deliver value to this customer? And I think the key at that point was good communication. The customer was older, does not care, does not know. The reason they want to hire me is so that I resolve their issue with technology and deliver what they need without having to worry about technology. So really, my job was to explain everything simple and to set goals that for me were fairly low. That way I could over deliver. Was it perfect? No, but I got the job done. I delivered the website. I got paid, most importantly, and I gained real world experience and to this day, I have a happy customer somewhere. He's still in touch once in a while for updates. And overall, it was a very good experience for both of us. This type of experience, you cannot get this from a course. You cannot get this from a tutorial. You have to get out there and apply for jobs and just sell and just code and solve problems and put together this package called value for which someone else is willing to give you money for. And if you could do it multiple times, and after a couple of times, you make yourself a website where you show your previous work, a portfolio of sorts, then you're ready to start applying for more jobs. So that's what I did. I fixed up my resume a little more to show the, you know, that I had a little bit more experience now. 
and I just send that thing all over the place. I sent it on local job boards. I sent it on LinkedIn. I sent it to friends of friends. You know, it's more common than you think for you to have a friend who has a cousin that works in tech and maybe they're looking for people. And this is also networking, you know, very casually when you're socializing, you can just mention, hey, I started, I did all this. This is what I'm doing now. And you'd be surprised how many people are willing to jump in and help you. So after a while, I start hearing back from companies. I start to go on interviews. I've actually posted a few of those interviews on this channel. I kind of dissect them because it is a learning experience. And I sort of wanted to share what I learned from these experiences. And, and then after a couple of interviews, eventually I landed a job offer. Someone was very impressed and they were impressed not just with my technical background and how fast I was able to pick it up and learn and go with it and deliver. They were mostly impressed with my communication with them and how professional I seemed, how laid back I seem and while at the same time letting them talk and, and listening to them and managing the expectations of the relationship. And they offered the job, we negotiated a salary and I accepted. And the position was for, as an IT project manager, which is not necessarily software development, but I would say that was my main key. Also, I wasn't too selective on the positions. I kind of just blasted out CVs to everyone and hope for the best. And so what did I learn from this journey? Overall, over the course of the year, I learned most that when I set my mind into something and when I commit to something, I can get it done. And for me, that has really improved my self-esteem. It has really helped me get out of the situation that I was in before I started to learn how to code. I made a video about that. And I think it's like the first video on this channel. In a nutshell, I had just come off of like a work injury and I was just in a really bad place physically, mentally, and learning to code was my key out of that situation. And if I could do it, you guys could also do it. It's, it's, it's hard, but it's not impossible. And don't let people tell you that it's not possible. Don't let people tell you they have to do it in three months. That's also not possible. Like set yourself real goals. And for me at that time was my real goal was just to show up today for two hours without any expectations. And, and in the end, it worked out. I'm very happy that it did work out. Um, so if you guys are wondering how it is that you can get into tech, how it is that you can get to learn how to code, I highly recommend you check out CS50. And I highly recommend that you watch a couple of the other videos on this channel. I share my journey in real time in those videos and you can see sort of my progress over the years. And that's it, I'm wishing you the best. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've if you actually managed to finish the course. I've actually had a lot of people leave comments on on random videos of mine saying that they had just finished the course, saying thank you for the motivation, thank you. I'm here a year later after watching your video, and I did finish the course and I did build a project. A couple of people have come back again a couple months later and said, "Hey, I managed to get a job." So this is a real thing. But you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort, and that's it for this video. I'm wishing you all the best.